So I received a question on how to thread the Junomi 672. So if you have a spool there, you just put the spool and put the thread through here. In this case, I'm using a tall spool. And what we do is we'll bring the thread back down to here. And you bring it over. So it goes through the loop. Oops, did it backwards. So you do it, when you're doing it from the front, you just pull it in, so I'll show you. Very simple to do. But you want it to go in the loop, like that. Oops, helps if I... It's hard to do it this way. So, so put it in the loop behind, and then pull it around over the top what happens is it goes from the front to the back. That's the most important. So you pull it there, loop it around, and pull the thread through. You'll get the hang of it, but it's easy. Or you can thread it through. If you find that mech difficult, then just push it through, but to me that's easy. So I'm going to move around to the front. Okay, so here we are at the front, and it's the same deal. Put it and loop it over. So you see that? Put the thread there and bring it around. Then, here, do the same thing. Thread it and bring it around. Then we bring it down, make sure the foot is up. And then in there, you'll see two discs. You've got to make sure the thread goes through the discs like that. And then bring it around under this tensioning spring. And then over the top. Now you need to make sure this is in the top place, just for ease. No other reason. I'm going to switch hands now. Hold this here. And put it through there. Pull the thread through, make sure it's clear. And pull the thread down. Now let's bring it a bit more through. Okay, so let's refresh. Comes through this, over this, over this down, up this, around here, up, down, and now the really simple bit, there's a little clip in here, just go boing, and the thread passes behind it, super easy. And then you can either use the right or the left, I prefer the left here, and this is for the second thread when you're doing double thread needle sewing. So you've got that in there, and then the last is thread the needle from the front to the back. Now I always use two fingers here just to make my life a little easier. But we might be able to do this with one. Yes, we have succeeded. And then we pull it through. There we are. So, threads in place. Now for the bobbin. One second. So, I've wound the bobbin on here to wind the bobbin. Release the clutch as with all. You, turn, you hold the outside wheel, turn the inside wheel over the top, and then you push on that, and then you can wind the bobbin. It will automatically kick off. To do the threading for the bobbin, you, like that, just under the top thing. So it just slides over that, and under that, you just give it a tug. Give it a tug like this. And then that gives tension. So it goes from the back, around here, into the bobbin, you wind it, and it'll click off when it's done. And then you re-clutch. And that's all there is to that. This is exact to thread the machine, or to put the bobbin in, same deal as with all Class 15 machines that I'm aware of. So there we are. Put it under there, pull it there. And what we need to do is make sure the bobbin, so that's the wrong way around, we want it to spin clockwise that direction. Then it's straightforward to put this bobbin in here and you just have to click it into the slot there. And that's it. You just push it in to click it in. That's all there is to that. Then of course you bring up the thread. Standard procedure here. Let it hook the thread. And then pull it up. And there we have it. And I've got the uh, plate off at the moment, but normally that plate would be there. So that's working just fine. 
and then you can sew. So you just have to adjust the tension as normal.